Welcome back to Up North at 4. We're joined by Seth and Don, who are going to talk to us about the Branch Demo Day this week. Thanks for joining us, guys. Sure. Thanks. How are you? Good. Good. Everyone's good. Well, great. So, Seth, you are a student, am I right? Yes. So, tell me a little bit about why you decided to get involved in the program. Well, I had a couple of instructors recommend me for the program. I had no idea what it was, so I did a little background checking on it. And um, it's an entrepreneurial skills accelerator. And I went through the application process, which is on the www.thebranchwi.com mm -hmm. site. Really easy application. Went through the interview process, and I am one of seven people in this fall's cohort. Wow. Yeah, it's really cool working with really talented individuals. You know, there's a good mix of people. Um, we call ourselves hipsters, hackers, <laughs> handlers, and hustlers. And through working together, we discovered that um, we all kind of have a little bit of that in us. Wow. You know. Yeah, so getting to do a lot with people who have similar interests, which must be nice, too. Right. So for those back home and for myself as well, what are some of the things that you learned throughout the program? Um, one of the biggest things for me right now would be that working with a team and um, taking on a challenge and looking at it from a different perspective. You know, there's many different ways to look at things. You have to kind of drop the pen and, you know, look at things in a different light. Um, all the different research that we've done through the process. So now this upcoming week is a demo day, is that right? So what's, what's that about, Don? Well, Demo Day is really the culmination of the whole semester's worth of work. So Seth and his colleagues on the cohort will present to our leadership team from Church Mutual Insurance Company and others in the community, um, any guests, in fact, it's open to the public, and of course, all the um, faculty and other people associated with Northern States Technical, or North Central Technical College, excuse me, and also um, the Wausau Chamber of Commerce because they're also a partner with us. They'll all be there. Seth and his team present. So, if Don, if you can speak to this a little bit, or maybe Seth, maybe you, but where did this idea come from for this type of program? I mean, not, uh, not every day you see this kind of stuff. No, maybe I'll launch into it and then Seth can chime <laughs> in too, but um, it was really important to Church Mutual for a number of reasons. We're big supporters of the community and of North Central Wisconsin and of education in particular because we're very concerned about growing and keeping a really talented, skilled, engaged workforce. Mm -hmm. So when we saw this opportunity to partner with NTC and with the Chamber, it seemed like a great opportunity. We could work with folks like Seth and his student colleagues and have great ideas that we could use in our business. Mm -hmm. We can promote education. We can promote ourselves. And hopefully, we're creating our own pipeline of great talent that's coming forward in the future. Absolutely. And we have only a little bit of time left, but can you guys tell us of the who, what, whens, all that fun stuff so that everyone knows what we have here up on the screen? <laughs> So you guys have the demo day coming up this week, right? Yep. Yeah. Friday morning, 10 a.m. Friday morning, 10 a.m. to noon at the North Central Technical College in the iTech. Free admission. Free admission. That's Free important. Admission. Yeah, and we hope a lot of people show up, too, because I think that's important. We do, and we're looking for businesses that want to participate yep. next semester, and we're looking for more businesses students. Businesses and well, students great. and mentors also just go on to the branch site. They also have a Facebook page and yes. uh, fill up the applications. I mean, it's a great program. Well, great, and we hope so, and we'll have more information on our website, wjfw.com. Just make sure to hit on the hot button. Well, coming up next, we're going to be taking a look at your 5 o'clock headlines. Stay with us.